Hi there, it's Paulie here with huh, Mr. Snoots. Me, me. So, um, it was hot today in um, La Bao, Prabhupada, Pradang here, and uh, thirst just made me think of something. So, I just gotta tell you what I remember. So, um, I used to do, and yeah, you know, for about 20 years, I did a martial art called um, Tenshin Shoden Katori Shinto Ryu, transmitted directly from heaven. Katori Sacred Shrine Style. It's one of the earliest um, samurai schools of samurai arts. But this British guy came over, Toby, and uh, I loved him. He was just one of the funniest guys I ever met, really off colour. He was from Britain, he has one of these funny accents here, right? Turned out he was a rather brilliant martial artist and a, a fantastic kendo instructor. But his kids, now this guy was one hell of a dad. Now, where we were doing Katori, it was an old scouts hall that we kind of rented and the scouts really didn't use it anymore. So it was the main hall that's a do dojo and there was this room out the back and for some reason there was like a line of lockers and you know, a door that went through to this other room and it was just junk storage, it was just crap. Um, but there was no back to the lockers. The doors kind of opened into the dojo and then, you know, space is in there, but they didn't have a back. They just opened into that other room. Well, Toby had to bring his kids along one day because we were just, you know, we were doing maintenance. We were just cleaning up around the dojo. And he doesn't want his kids getting into the junk room because, you know, it's got, it's got rusty bits and, you know, it's got old bits of scout uniform that are all moth-eaten and all this sort of stuff. And he just doesn't want them getting into it. So, you know, the kids are look, looking like they're going to get up to something. So Toby just sort of, you know, sort of now... You kids, you play outside, okay? You can be in the dojo here if you're quiet, but remember, um, it's a dojo, so, you know, got true respect. Everyone's gonna be outside sort of cleaning up around the garden and stuff. So, you know, they had computer games, just sit here quietly if you want to, or, you know, or you can go out and play on the swings and whatever. But don't go near those lockers, all right? Do not go near the lockers, don't go into the back room. And so, oh, Dad, why? Said, well, because of the ghost scout. And the kids said, what? Said, yeah. Haven't you kids heard about a ghost scout here? I says, oh. See, this place, the scouts would go off on, like, long camping trips. But there was one kid, and he decided he was going to, like, wag the trip. He turned up. But he needs us decided he let the others go and then he was just going to go home. But they locked the doors while he was hiding in here. And he couldn't get out in the hot, dry summer. And he just couldn't get anything to drink. And he just died of thirst. And just kind of, by the time they came back, two months later, he was just, just mummified, lying in that back room there. But that's why we don't practice here at night. Okay, why not? Because if you listen really carefully, you can hear the voice of the ghost scout. It's like, so thirsty. So thirsty. Uh, the kids are like, oh, oh, oh. all right. So we go outside and Toby knows they're going to try getting in that back room. So he goes round the outside and gets in through a back door and he just finds this old scout hat, which he claps under his head. So the kid's like, oh, talking back and forth. And uh, is anyone watching? Is anyone watching? They can't help it. So they go up to the locker doors and open them. Toby's behind there in the open space with this scout hat on, just lunges out. <laughs> It's just screaming for murder, come pelting out of this dojo. It's <laughs> like you total absolute bastard. Oh, oh, it's beautiful to see. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, very, very funny guy. I love him forever. Anyway, just thought I'd share that one. Cheers.